Welcome to this training video on how to operate a 2022 Pierce Aero XT single stage pump. In this training video, we will go over a step-by-step -step process on how to safely and successfully put a line into service from beginning to end. A thorough rig check should have been completed prior to the incident to ensure rig is in a state of operational readiness. Make sure to don all necessary PPE, helmet, coat, gloves. Ensure rig is on. Battery switch to the on position. Ignition switch to on position. Let the instrument panel complete the cycle before starting engine. Press and hold starter. Confirm parking brake is applied and engine transmission is in neutral. Shift the pneumatic road to pump shifter into down position. Pump engage light will appear. Shift engine transmission into D. Okay, the pump light will come on. 4-4 will appear on the transmission gear selector pad. It is recommended to put your visor down. This step is optional, but is used as a form of lockout tagout so people know that their chocks are down. Keynote. Four things to ensure the pump is engaged from outside the vehicle. Water indicator bar on the cab. The second to right pump panel light. Okay, the pump light is illuminated. Pump discharge pressure will increase to approximately 40 PSI. This also indicates that our pump is primed and ready to go. Steps prior to charging the line. Pull tank to pump. Recirculating tank fill valves. Take off intake cap. Place chocks. Charging the line. Make sure the bed is clear and or connections to the line is secure. Ensure pump boss is in pressure mode. Slowly pull the desired discharge lever. Increase engine RPMs using the throttle to the desired pressure while keeping an eye on the pressure gauge of the line going into service. Keynote, line must be flowing in order to accurately set pressure. You can also use the preset button on the pump boss in order to charge a crosslet. You can only supply one line before obtaining a supply. You have approximately four minutes worth of water with the inch and three quarter line. You only have a couple minutes worth of water with the two and a half inch line. Obtaining supply. Bleeder valve is open, allowing air in the line to escape. Make sure a five inch hose is properly secured to intake. Close valve before opening intake. Slowly open the intake. This may cause a temporary reduction in pressure due to the pump boss regulating the throttle. You may need to gate down if the intake pressure exceeds the pump discharge pressure. You have approximately one and a half turns before the intake begins to open. Notify IC water supply has been established. Close tank fill once tank has been topped off. During the fire operations, make sure all gauges have been properly marked and are maintained to the appropriate pressures for all lines that are in service. As the firefight continues, you may need to adjust the pump pressure to different lines. Remember to communicate with your team members and keep an eye on the pressure gauge and the water flow. Remember, the rig is the engineer's responsibility, and the lives of those on the other end of these hoses depends on your knowledge, skills, and abilities for not just how to send water and set pressures, but how to identify and address potential and actual problems that may arise. Thank you for watching, and this concludes our review on how to operate the pump.